Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second barbells and bushcraft video. And yes, in some of these, I will be speaking. There will be some where I'm trying to share an experience and kind of tell you a story without actually using words and just using different sounds like I did in the last one. And hopefully, a lot of you liked it. The positive feedback was just amazing. So thank you guys so much. That's the exact reason why this one is being released. However, this one is actually kind of a compilation of three videos uh, put into one because I didn't really know where I wanted to go with the series. Now, the ones where I will be speaking, the Barbell and Bushcraft series uh, videos that I will be speaking in a lot of times will have some sort of project that I'm doing because the land that I am on um, has a lot of dead and fallen trees and I'm trying to teach myself some timber framing. So in that process, I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, just how calming it's been for me. I just thought it could be really amazing for some of you. So that's why I'm trying to do that, which is exactly where you're joining me here. Now, uh, what is actually happening in this video is I am building some saw box. Now, pretty much a couple weeks ago, there was a big storm and a loud noise happened and obviously a tree had fallen down back in the woods. So I came to investigate to harvest some of the firewood and see if that was a possibility and it absolutely is. And so I've been doing that. However, in the process of that, I realized that the space that the tree kind of came down and, and kind of took over was a really, really cool spot that would be really great for kind of a dome structure or maybe like a primitive sauna, kind of sweat lodge type of thing. So I decided that maybe I'd show that experience with you guys. Also, I'm trying to build like some wood storage and some sheds all out of some of this dead trees and fallen lumber um, or fallen timber. And I'm just trying to use it and try to share you guys that experience. now. In order to do that, I needed to build some saw box. Now, when the huge tree fell in this area, it took out a couple of other trees. I'm not interested in taking out live trees on my property whatsoever. That's not what this channel is going to be about. However, this tree did take out a couple of live trees. And so what you're seeing here is some pretty live logs being worked with. And that's that's why they're alive. I just want to explain it to you guys. Now, if you don't know what a saw buck is, it's basically a saw horse. Like in carpentry, a saw horse that helps you do certain tasks. A saw buck is basically the same thing, except it's shaped in an X so that the logs can sit in it so they don't roll around. So I figured if I'm trying to learn these old skills with these hand tools, I might as well try to learn it on the saw buck because then if I mess it up, it won't be as tragic as if I did if I was trying to build some sort of small cabin or thing like that. Um, and I've already made mistakes and I will continue to make mistakes, which brings my next point in that I am not an expert in this whatsoever. Literally, this is the first stuff that I've ever done in this fashion. So they're not gonna be how-to videos, guys. They're gonna be pretty much me showing you myself learning and uh, I'm pretty much reading books, watching videos and learning by experience, but it's just such an awesome process. It's been so calming and amazing that I just want to share it along with you guys. So moving forward with these barbell and bushcraft videos, sometimes, like I said, there will be no speaking at all. And sometimes I'll be interjecting like this and just trying to filling you guys in on what's happening so that it's not such a mystery. However, you have to admit, it is kind of fun to see me start doing something and your brain starts trying to put together the mystery of where it's going to end up. And uh, trust me, uh, it might be interesting, especially with a guy who has no idea what he's doing. Anyway, it should be a really good time, guys. And I thank you so much for joining me on the last video and leaving those positive comments. Thank you for joining me on this one. And I hope you choose to join me on the next Barbell and Bushcraft video. And do not worry, guys. The listening videos are still around. As you've seen, uh, the next video is actually going to be one about programming and giving out free programs. So should be really, really cool. And I thank you guys so much. Please enjoy the rest of this video. And I hope it is cool for you as it was to make. You alright? Oh buddy, I'm sorry buddy, it's okay. If you sneeze your water, he sneezed and you know, put his face right in the water. Oh buddy. What? Oh no. Oh no. Not the corner. Not the hello buddy. Hello buddy.